So this is going to be a rant episode of episode of episode of episode three, based off this anime. Uh, I I fear all the the commonplace of the world's strongest season two, episode episode three. Yes, this is going to be a rant. This is going to be a rant video, rant video of review for this episode. Now, one thing, now one thing I definitely do want to talk about is has to do with Hajime. because I feel like Hajime is just not really, it's just not really like we used to see, you know, like with some of the powers that he used to have, you know, back from season one and stuff like that and, and, and stuff. You know, and I understand, I understand he relies on, you know, the technology that he used to have from back then when he was human or something like that. And that, that's what it basically, that's what it basically just really actually just feels to be. Stuff like that. But one thing, the one thing is really bothers me the most is, is stuff like that, that the power that he has to create weapons and stuff like that. I don't think, I don't think he's not going to last you very much longer because with these weapons that he has, and that's that's basically what it, it feels to me. Now, I really am expecting him to really have maybe a power boost or something like that. I think that may happen in this anime, but however, I really do not know if that really is going to happen or really or not. Because one thing I'm very worried is that what I'm saying here is that I'm worried that he may die. That's a very good possibility. That's a very good possibility because with the weapons that he has from his magic of the abilities that he has. I just don't think I just don't think he's gonna last any more much or longer, and you know this is the first time I ever seen the AMC basically in an anime would just struggle with just based with the same powers that he has, and I figured that he would just be OP or you know, something like that. Maybe I was expecting him to be OP, but not really, but not really. But even though he's not really, I would say like he's far powerful than Naruto or. or or any other shonen enemies out there, or, or so, or anything like that. I just don't think he's really not really is that. It's just that the point, like I said before, is just that the weapons that he creates, yes, that may can help him. But however, it's just more of these weapons. The more that he has to create, it's not really going to help him really at all. That's that's what I'm kind of scared about. That's why I'm kind of scared that Hajime may die. That that's a likely and very good possibility. That could really could happen also so also as well too. So I, I'm I'm just really just kind of like wondering like like what is he gonna do? What is what, what is he gonna have to come up with and stuff like that? Because like I said like I said he cannot rely on his weapons. He cannot rely on them because it doesn't feel like yes he's powerful he's strong, but it's just that those weapons it's just not gonna save him really much at all. And so yeah, so I'm I'm just basically I'm just I'm just basically I'm just saying I would like to see more spells like he can learn or something like that or something that may can help him. That's not, that's what I think. But I just want people just to really just like, really just know. I don't like I said I just don't think that Hydra is an overpowered character. I just don't think he really actually is. I think to me is that I think that he's a character that to me that he's struggling to. to to do whatever uh, deal, to do whatever he can, and 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 stuff, you know that uh, that's just basically what it just feels to me. But it's just something that I, I figure I just want to rant about his character. It's just that I just I just don't see him really lasting really all that long. Basically, I could be proven wrong or something like that, or maybe right or something like that, or something I I don't know. But I guess I guess we'll just have to wait and see what what's going to happen to Hajima and is, is something like that. You know, I like I said, I could be wrong, I could be right, but it's, that's just. I guess we'll just like I said, like I said, I guess we'll just have to wait to see in the upcoming episodes and stuff like that. Now, one thing, one now, one thing I definitely want to talk about, which I was quite, I won't say quite shocked or something like that. I think I seen this in season one, also well too. Her name, her name is Taniel. Ta Taniel. Uh, she basically, she basically is one of the the dragon born basically of the oh, of her clan of her. Of her people or so, or so with that, you know, they turn into dragons and stuff like that. It's kind of like it's kind of like you know the dragonfly, the dragonfly of World of Warcraft. You know, you learn about the lore of the dragons and stuff like that, where they come from and stuff like that, what kind of different species that they really are. You know, you have Raphion, you also have the queen of the dragons, you also have the time dragon, and also the others or others or as well as well. And basically, you know, the dragonfly. Basically, you know, they basically go around, you know, you know and stuff, you know. Ridicate the the world of evil, or, or I say, or I would say, y'all, the nasty girl dragon gone insane, and stuff like that. But one thing, one thing is that Tina Taylor is is basically she's pretty much. I think that she's pretty much the last of the dragons. Now I really don't know what may have happened to her people or something like that. I'm assuming that her people may have got a wife, may have got wiped out by the demon lord. However, I really do not know if that really is, if that really is the case, really or not. 
Now, there's also another thing I definitely do want us to talk about Oswald too, because I'm really kind of curious about what Lily, the, the prince, is really actually going to do, because it seems like most of her people must have fall under a spell, and that can be very, very scary for Lily also as well too. So I see Death Leg right around Lily also as well too, because I, I think that's really is going to happen, but I don't know. I really do not know. And I'm really kind of curious about all the rest of these heroes. I wonder if they know Hydra, because I'm not really 100% sure if they know Hydra, but that's what it basically it feels to me. Now, Hydra is basically on the other hand. I think he said he wanted to get revenge on the people that left him behind and left him to survive on his own because back in season one and back in season one where he's just like eating these monsters because he doesn't really have much of a choice to really do that. And I think that I think that's one of the reasons why he gained his power that basically helped him out. And just like it just you know, just like I said before, I normally sound like I'm repeating myself. It's just that it's just something about him, those weapons that he have, it's not gonna last him very much longer. That's just what it feels to me and something like that. And that's just basically what I do I basically I basically, you know, I do think I don't think this anime is not being rushed or anything like that, which that is, which that really is a good thing. But it makes me wonder: Do I want to continue to watch the season two? To be honest with you, yes, I do want to continue to watch the season two because, as far as my complaints go, that's just basically just how I feel. And I, I feel like I feel like that some people probably did not like season one because because some people were saying like it's like a PlayStation two uh, graphics. That's what basically that's basically what they're they were saying. So. I mean, it is what it is, but it's just it's just that I don't expect, you know, every single anime, every single anime is going to have an overpowered character. Sometimes that happens and stuff like that. Sometimes it really doesn't. It really does. I mean, but even though just like, basically with Hajima, he's not an overpowered character. I just don't think he really actually is. It's just that his powers just need, need to change and stuff like that. Because if the animation of the anime were to do just to continue and let him use it for, for the weapons, then, then that tells me, then that tells me, that the MC but this anime is not as strong as some people may thought he's really actually gonna be. That means is that he's a weak MC. That's that's what it basically feels to me. So that, that that's basically what I definitely do think. And I feel I feel like the storyline it's it's okay. It's not really the best, but I don't I don't know. I, I feel like I may I may not continue but I'm just I'm just gonna continue watching some of like that. I and I know I may seem like I'm complaining too much and some of like that, but I just want to see some different changes basically in the same so that that's just what I want, but I don't know if there's a really good possibility we could see the season uh, season three. I really do not think. Ouch! I really do not think if that really is going to happen or not. So, I, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see if that really is going to happen or not. So, I mean, it could happen, but it cannot. It, but basically, maybe it can't happen. But those, those are just my my opinions. So, so yeah, but uh. Uh, I, I know some people may disagree or may agree with me. I don't know. It just it just really depends how you, what you guys say and stuff like that. So yeah, so yeah. It was just, uh, anyways, it, it was. I see you guys later. Take care. I hope you get a wonderful day. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Please consider subscribing. Uh, please like and give me a thumbs up. And please share the notification bell also too, so that you guys watch my videos. And please leave your and please leave your comments below. It was. I love you guys. Take care. I hope you get a wonderful day. Take care. God bless. Remember, I love you guys. Please stay. I'm out. Stay blessed. Love you guys. Take care.